Hi, welcome to this edition of Marketing Tips. I've got with me Meryl Johnson of Bean Ninjas. How are you going, Meryl? Hey, Matt. Yeah, doing well. Awesome. Um, do you mind telling everyone a little bit about yourself and, and your firm? Sure. I run a business called Bean Ninjas, and where we do bookkeeping and accounting for e-commerce brands. So we started out in Australia, and our biggest market is actually the US, and we also operate in the UK. I, I say run, actually, I, I was the original founder and CEO, but I stepped out of the CEO role in 2021. So I'm a part-time advisor these days, and I still also work on the marketing side of the business, more, more because I really enjoy it. You've done it. Like I was joking, my mate, he's got a business that no one's ever really worked on their business. <laughs> they always work in it, but you, you've hit the holy ground. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, what's the tip you want to share, please? The, my tip is about picking a niche and that can be an industry niche, which is what we did at Bean Ninjas. We selected the e-commerce vertical. It doesn't have to be an industry, but pick something that you're going to be known for. So that means saying no to a lot of things and you'll repel customers, but the ones that really want what you're selling. So I'll, I'll speak from my experience, which was e-commerce, bookkeeping and accounting. Yes, that means saying no to every other type of client and industry that we worked with. But when an e-commerce brand saw our website or heard us speak at an event, they said, oh, yes, you understand our problems. You're talking about the platforms we use like Shopify and Amazon. You understand these issues. We want to come and work with you and we're happy to pay a premium for that. That's probably the best summary of what I would of, the, of, of that I've ever heard. And I think that, yeah, that to me is the foundation of um, a, a marketing strategy it just answers so many questions for you, doesn't it? It does. Because before we made that decision, when we were trying to make choices about marketing spend, it was a lot harder. And as soon as we said, all right, e-commerce, then we're thinking about event sponsorship and what events do we go to? Ah, well, we go to the e-commerce events. Okay, what, what podcasts do we want to speak on? We need to be speaking on podcasts that have an audience of e-commerce business owners. What kind of content should we be creating? All about e-commerce accounting. What kind of keywords should we be going after for SEO? Okay, that really narrows it down. What are the kind of search terms that e-commerce business owners that fit the profile of who we want to work with. So that's typically they're doing over seven figures in revenue. What kind of questions are they asking and how can we create content that's relevant to them? So it made marketing so much easier once we just ripped the bandaid off and said, okay, only e-commerce. Yeah, totally. Like uh, uh, someone said to me, it's like the who, what, where, when, and why, isn't it really? It just answers all of those questions really quickly mm -hmm. and, and kind of says no to things that you shouldn't be doing really quickly as well. Yeah, absolutely. And we, so we found it helped on the marketing side. It actually also helped operationally because instead of trying to learn all of these different apps within the Zero ecosystem, and, and now we're on the QuickBooks ecosystem as well, uh, we can really narrow that down. So operation, it really helped from a marketing perspective, but it actually helped operationally in streamlining things and, and having our team learn this. Instead of having to learn a lot, they could learn one thing and one tech stack and learn that really well. So it helped from a profitability perspective too. Fantastic. Thanks heaps for sharing that. Thanks.